All right, we back. What up? I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder if you never have a chance to use your finishing move. Is it still a finisher, or is it just a regular old move? What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit that... I'm not going to waste my time. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. It's about time. I was ready for this after I beat you day one. I understand the urgency, but some guys never get this kind of opportunity. Don't take it for granted. Don't worry. I'll make the most of it. We have the matches for the showcase lined up. Paragon is facing Hector, and you'll be going up against Chase. And don't repeat this, but that should set you up to look good in front of the GMs. Yeah, about that road dog. See, I was thinking about his first day. Oh, no. It's never good when you're thinking. <laughs> I know, I know. I was thinking about how he called me out and beat me. It was definitely a statement win for sure. But what I'm getting at is, how about instead of taking another shortcut at the showcase, you face me again instead. You beat me once when I wasn't prepared. Can you do it again in a high-stakes situation? This time, when I'm ready. Just think about this for a second, okay? A win over HBK could open a lot of doors. But that's no easy task. Chase is the safer bet, but, but definitely wouldn't impress the GMs as much. I'd be happy to beat you again. Good. But technically, you have to beat me again twice. It's going to be a two out of three falls match. Of course it is. That's great and all, guys. But now I need to find a new opponent for Chase, and that's going to turn into a whole thing. Not that that's your problem. Anyway, before I forget, the GMs want the full presentation for the showcase. So you're going to get to wear the gear you designed a while back. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, kid. Down, son. Down since.
Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's funny. Cause Who are you even facing anyway? Yeah, I'm going to be. Are you an idiot? You had the chance to face Chase. A win over HBK will punch yeah, me. Yeah, and a loss. Well, will. that's. Paragon is just jealous that he's not gonna that he's not getting to face Shawn Michaels. I mean, I haven't faced him once. I haven't faced him twice. I faced Shawn Michaels three times. Three times. They don't want none. They don't want none. This is the sound of boys. The dumb restraint. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. You know what I mean? Next, and then to get respect. Because ain't nobody breaking this red net. He's wearing his gear. Ooh. Yo, Mandy, chill out. Relax. Calm down. Okay. Sean's ready. Now, all of a sudden, homie doesn't want to doesn't want to go down. Is that Adam Pierce? Yeah, it is. Bro, the fact that I watched Sean as a kid and now I get to wrestle him in a video game is kind of sick, actually. Hey, good night. One, two. Stay down, Sean. Stay down. Stay down. One, two, three. What the hell? What the hell is Mandy? What the hell is that? What the hell is Mandy doing? What the hell was that? Did the game just like glitch out or something? What did Mandy Rose just do? Why'd she throw Adam Pierce into the ring like that? What did my man's Adam Pierce do to you, Mandy? By the way, Adam Pierce looks a lot like Johnny Sins. I won't even tap. Like, I never really noticed it until now. Bro, I just defeated Sean Sean Michaels 
for the fourth time. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Shawn Michaels, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. This is a big decision. Don't play games with me. If you want to... Hold on, guys. Alright, that should fix it. The fact that you had the courage to not only face a Hall of Famer like Shawn Michaels, but then beat him in a match like that, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown. The fact that it took you until today to realize I should be on your roster is laughable, but I guess you're not very good at your job. <laughs> Insulting your potential new boss. Off to a good start. I accept your offer. Looking forward to it. I think. Let's go. I'm on SmackDown. Let's go. You're going to go one on one with The Undertaker. Man, I miss Teddy Long. Those were the days, man, when Teddy Long was the GM of SmackDown. Oh, man. I miss Teddy. Teddy was the GOAT. I love Teddy. Hey, I heard you're going to SmackDown. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. But maybe we'll cross paths again sometime in the future. Never say never around here. That's right. Buena suerte. You're looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. Took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing, but without the lame nickname. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you got signed to SmackDown too? Yeah, what's the matter? Scared you'll be facing me now? No. But I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. We're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we?
Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Did you really think you'd get signed? Wake up, man. You've been the weakling since we started here, and your unrealistic outlook only makes things worse. You really think that? Look, I'm not saying you're dead in the water, but consider today a reality check. Three of us were signed, and you weren't. If you're ever going to make it, something needs to change, and that's on you. Maybe it's not me. Maybe someone's trying to hold me back. Or maybe they just didn't like my look. I can change that easy. I do still have that rib costume. Chase, look in the mirror. It's none of that other stuff. It's you. I gotta go clean out my locker. See you around. So why was HBK just like waiting there for me? It's kind of weird. It's a little sus. I don't even get. Well, you got the better of me again. I'd like to think it would have been a different story 25 years ago, but who knows? Yeah, it probably would have since you'd be wrestling a baby. I get it. I'm ancient. Look, heard you're going to SmackDown. Play your cards right, and I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that, especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. That was pointless. There was no point to that. It was... Like, those conversations are just, like, they're cool, but they're just there to pad out time. Here I can steal people's wives and shit like that. I'm literally gonna be like 2005 Edge in this bitch. The hell y'all? You know what one of my favorite sounds in the world is? Hearing the crack of a kendo stick over someone's back. I heard it at the first event I went to, and it's stuck with me ever since. I would love to see how vicious you could be with a kendo stick in your hand. Okay, am I just trying to appease the fans? I mean, I guess that's the whole point, but like, it doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Some of the cutscenes are pointless. Like they are literally pointless. But whatever.
And here comes one of my favorites. The following contest is an extreme... Extreme Rules means anything goes and the fight can go anywhere in the arena, the locker room, or the parking lot. A pin or submission must occur in the ring. One of the dangers of an Extreme Rules match is it can very quickly turn into an all-out brawl. A match like this shows what having devious intentions is all about. A competitor can't hesitate to do what they need to do. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. I'm just trying to grab weapons, bro. He leaves the ring and there's no count out. No. Oh, straight to the floor. Draft decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. So much damage inflicted. He saw that one coming. Oh, back elbow. for something beneath the ring. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh. Able to get out of the way. Combo smash. Big time. Shit. Monster. Could lead to a big time win. Uh-oh, this is... He's not giving up that easy. Let me grab the weapon. The fuck is happening? This is where things get extremely dangerous. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. What a knockout punch! Oh, man, that gets reversed on Apollo. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. Refocusing to reverse that. Oh, and the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. There is nothing but mal intent behind each of these attacks. Interesting spot to be setting up the ladder, guys. Yeah, tell me about it. Back in the ring now. Taking this outside. Springboard. Boom! What a hurricane rana. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. He re Springboard into a... Oh, no! I don't care how bold you are. Missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Such an incredible match. Making a banger. He a sense he's willing to do whatever it takes to put this match in the books. Because I think the realization is beginning to creep in. He may have to do something spectacular. He may have to reach deep into his playbook to figure something out to earn a win. Oh my God. Here it comes! Oh my god! Uh-oh, dropped onto the ladder. Taking flight! He hits it from high above! It is a mess of bodies and broken ladder down there. his strategy getting up but don't have a clue what's coming come on get up get up apollo come on 
Dude, you're, you're a former U.S. and Intercontinental Champion. Come on, you can't fight me. You can't take me on. Come on, buddy. Good night. Here is your winner, TVS. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. All right. Until next time. Goodbye.